Puppets on TV. Puppets on TV? I've got to see what this is about. Hey, hey, what? Hey, that's me on TV. Look. Yeah, that's me. Hey, Julius, come quick. What, Mona? Hey, look what's on TV. What TV? Huh? I can't believe my eyes. Th 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 that's me, Mona. Yeah, and me. Yeah, you too. I wonder what the show is going to be about. Oh, I'll bet it's about puppets. Yeah, all kinds of different kinds of puppets, huh? And puppeteers. Oh, puppeteers. I'll bet it's about that puppet troupe, um, Das Puppenspiel from Westfield, New York. Oh, oh, right. You mean, uh, Pam Moran. Oh, and Steve Swank. Yeah, and Jenny Klein. Oh, they're supposed to be pretty good. And I hear they have some great puppets. Yeah, like Mona the Chip. <laughs> and Julius the Frog. <laughs> oh, let's watch. Oh, boy, I can't wait to see it. Maybe we'll get to meet the puppeteers. I sure hope so, Mona. <laughs> What a sweet dog. Ah, oh, hey! Good, good, nice bite of the leg. What's going on here, Toby? Such a good natured dog. You know? Oh, he's such a good natured dog, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, what's. Hey! Toby! That's my. Toby! That's my dog. Are we gonna lock? Alright, I think you've got to. We gotta lock clean. somehow, but not his nose, because I can't hold his nose. We have to do something else that makes us look like I'm holding his nose. Grab his arm. What if I grab his arm? Struggle right? a little, struggle. Oh, oh, my Bend down. Nose. During rehearsals, we always have comments to make, things like how to bring out the puppet characters and how to position ourselves and the puppets. During the final days of rehearsal, we go through it without discussing until the very end. Punch and Judy have been performing for over 300 years. They originated in Europe and are considered the first family of puppets. The Punch and Judy show is a tradition which has been handed down from puppeteer to puppeteer. Punch represented the ruling class. He was a rogue and a scoundrel. The common people used the puppet show to vent their frustrations. Puppets were not taken seriously, and so they were considered not considered a threat by those in power. There are many scripts for the Punch and Judy show, but the style and the character of Punch remain the same. Oh, I love you so, I love you so. I never will leave you. No, no, no. Oh, may I have this next dance, please? That's going to cost you, Buster. Ten cents a dance. Ten cents? Oh, well, anything for love. The three of us first met and became interested in puppets in Buffalo, New York. What started out as a hobby became our full-time employment. Our dream of working at something we really believed in and enjoyed came to life. We feel that puppetry is more than simply entertainment. It's an invaluable means of self-expression and self-development for both children and adults. A lot of times after you, we've made a puppet, we won't really have any feeling for it at all. And until we have it in our hands and we're acting with it and trying to develop its character, and it really years. hasn't come to life yet. And then when we do find, say, that voice, just the, the right voice for that puppet, you know, it starts coming to life. Little just, by little. You know, the way the, the character acts. And you know, oh yeah, that's the way, you know, he would react mm -hmm. to this situation. Yeah, it's a process that does take time. And say, when we first started knowing the Ark, you know, we came up with some voices for these animals and, and all, but now the characters have a personality. When we think of Ramsey Ram, we know what he thinks, what he's like, what his personality is. But that's taken a year or two to develop. Some happen faster than others. And as the more you work with one, the more you believe it, and the more you believe in it. And the more you believe in your character, the more the audience is going to accept that character is real. Because they're 
you know, there's that interaction between puppet, puppeteer, and audience. It's a triangle that has to be kind of complete. And if there's a break anywhere, it's not going to work. Oh, Jake, you know that rainstorm you were telling me about? Uh, I reckon I recall. Well, that's no ordinary rainstorm. Uh, uh -uh. What, what do you mean by that, Noah? Why, I got a message from the Lord saying it was going to be a flood. And <laughs> I'm to build an ark. Message from the Lord? Build an ark? <laughs> I think you've been working in the sun too long without your hat on. <laughs> Well, I think it would be a good idea if you built an ark yourself, Jake. Hey, I ain't got no time for such foolishness as building arks. I got fish to catch. I'm heading on down to the pond right now. You want to come along? Um, no thanks, Jake. <laughs> okay, Noah, suit yourself. <laughs> but I'll see you next week at the poker game, okay, good buddy? <laughs> deep, 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 deep. I don't, I don't think Jake understands. It's going to be a flood. I sure hope he knows how to tread water. I'd like to introduce you to Jake. He's a rod puppet. His, it was a rod that runs through his body up to his head, which allows his head to pivot. His hands are also on rods. If you'll notice, down here we have rings. These rings control his head and his eyes. Hey there, Stevie. How you doing? Oh, hi, Jake. <laughs> hey, you think I'm a slob? I'd like you to meet some of my friends down at the barnyard. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you want to come along? Oh, sure. I'd love to. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. This little piggy went Hello, folks. My name is Bob Cratchit, and I'm a marionette. I just wanted to let you know that marionettes were first used in the churches to tell the story of the nativity. They were called Little Mary Shows. Now I'd like to introduce two characters from Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Bella and young Scrooge are in the midst of an emotional breakup. Let's see what happens. You know that. Poverty is the hardest thing in the world. Ebenezer, I have seen your wonderful qualities fall off one by one. Now nothing remains in your heart but the love of money. I'm calling off our engagement. But Bella... Oh, you will soon forget me. Your time and your mind will be full of business seeking after empty gain. The idol of money has driven love from your heart. But may you be happy and content in the life you have chosen. <gasps> what uh, what kind of puppet are you actually making right now? Marionette. Let's take this out. Make a marionette, but mine's gonna be now. I see that face is uh, he's got an upturned nose and large ears. Is that for any particular reason or anything? Yeah, he's gonna be an elf. We might put him in a play. This project we're working on is made possible through a grant we received from the New York State Council of the Arts, America the Beautiful Fund. What we are doing here 
as having adult and children's classes, constructing puppets, where they do the actual construction of each puppet. We are teaching them that. We, at the same time, we are going around the community and talking to the senior citizens, getting uh, oral history about particular characters and events in Westfield's history. And then what we will do is we'll transpose those into scripts. And then each class will put on a production, or several productions. Oh, can you see that? Oh, neat. It's a little bit uh, bizarre, but let's see. Wake up, everyone, on your toes. It's showtime. Oh. 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 Wow, look at that sunshine. A great day for a ride in the van. Oh, boy. Oh. Hey, everybody, rise and shine. Sandman, wipe that sleep out of your eyes. <laughs> this is no day to be hanging around in the shop. Oh, why? Bye. 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 See you later. Goodbye.